Hey y'all and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with V. If you're new to my channel, every Monday I'm uploading meal recipes that your whole family is sure to love. And if you don't know me, my name is Valencia, AKA Product Junkie XOXO, AKA your best friend. If we're not best friends, we're gonna be best friends, okay? Whether you like it or not. So today I am going to be making a delicious chicken teriyaki that your whole family is sure to love. This is such an easy meal and the most work that you're gonna do is with the prep work. Oh, my hands really hate the prep work. Chopping, cutting. I'm just ready to eat already, you know? Can it be done? Can it be done yet? So, sit back and relax. Get yourself a big glass of ice water and think about what you wanna be eating at the time. Did your mother ever tell you that? Like, oh, you don't wanna eat this? Well, go get yourself a big glass of water and think about what you want to be eating. Moms, I tell you, moms. But I'm sure that your kids will love this meal. It is kid friendly, family friendly, and it's really, really easy. So let's get to cooking. If you guys wanna keep up with what I'm cooking every Monday, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Well, not hit it, you can't hit it because then you will break something, probably a nail like I did today. I need to go get that fixed. Click the subscribe button. Get your notification every time I upload a cooking vlog on Monday. Let's get to cooking, shall we? For my chicken teriyaki, I'm using the boneless, skinless chicken breast. It's a lot leaner. It's a good piece of meat, I'd say. But look at this price, though. $7.56. It's about eight pieces of meat in there. Big pieces of meat. And I'm going to need a lot of it because... Y'all know I got kids, honey. Then I picked up some vegetable kebabs because you see that the way my hands are set up, they don't like to chop. I, I, I think I'm allergic to chopping vegetables. Now, for the ancient Chinese secret that was passed down to me from long, long ago. Teriyaki, soy sauce, red wine vinegar. What's back here? How you doing garlic powder? That great value for the low low. Ground pepper ground black pepper, sea salt, they say it's healthier for you, and basil. I love basil. I rinsed my chicken and chopped it up into tiny bite-sized pieces, and now I am drizzling on, what's that? Girl, what's that in your hand? Well, that's a teriyaki sauce, and that's about, ooh, oh, I gotta be a chef with a tablespoon measurement. What, uh, tablespoon? Oh, maybe that, okay, that's two tablespoons. Girl, what you doing? Oh, you want some more? What? She wants some more teriyaki. Okay, okay. Three tablespoons. That's about three tablespoons. Go with me here, people. I'm not a real mathematician or a real cook. So now I'm drizzling on some soy sauce. That was about one tablespoon of soy sauce. Don't go too crazy because it's got salt in it, but that's the low sodium one, so we're okay. I've got my red wine vinegar here. I'm dashing it on. Dashing through the chicken. We're gonna flavor up this teriyaki. It's gonna be really delicious. Oh yes, it is. Red wine vinegar is um, a good way to tenderize it. But teriyaki is a good tenderizer too, I think. Don't quote me on that. Now this is the garlic powder, darlings. Don't be afraid of the garlic powder because I've got a whole bunch of chicken in this bowl. And then the basil. Equal parts basil, equal parts garlic. Um, a little dash of black pepper because this is the real ground black pepper and I think I added about oh, two tablespoons of garlic and two tablespoons of basil and just a pinch of salt whenever it decides to, to shake on out y'all I, I, I use mom measurements okay you won't ever see me using a measuring spoon oh Oh, girl, somebody grab the teriyaki sauce and push it and added another tablespoon. Now, what you're going to do is mix all of this together. I've got at least seven to eight pieces. I think it was about eight pieces of chicken um, that's chopped up in here. So I'm mixing it very, very well, making sure that everything is nicely combined together. After I mix everything together, I'm going to put it in the fridge for about half an hour or as long as it takes me to go give all my children a bath. And I've got four kids, Timmy, 
now it's prime time. Put your stove on high, get your walk out, okay? And get you some good old extra virgin olive oil. Give it a once around the bender. Nothing too fancy, you know. You want that wok to be nice and hot, and you want your oil to get nice and hot, because we are about to start stir frying. So I took a little bit of vintage reel, you know, to fight my chopping uh, allergy. Because, uh, you know, uh, we, we want this to be the, the right way, not the wrong way. So, and I love to do this anyway. When I don't feel like chopping, I'll just buy the stuff on the kebab and then chop it, you know. That's just the type of girl that I am. I think the wok is nice and hot right now, so I'm going to drop the vegetables in. Ooh, sizzle, 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 sizzle. Mmm, vegetables. I'm giving them a nice stir, and I did add some, some basil, some garlic, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, some teriyaki, um and the soy sauce to it, just like I did to the chicken, just minus the red wine vinegar. Gave it a little stir until it's nice and uh, cooked. Oh, oh girl, you didn't tell us you got the chicken in the pot all bubbling. Look at that pink meat. Look at that pink meat, just the bubbling. Bubbling like it's talking. This is the fun part to me. I let the chicken cook for about three to four minutes on each side. I turn it just once. So I'm flipping it over just like a hamburger. Like you better to eat a chicken burger, honey. Um, you flip your chicken and let it cook for an additional three to four minutes. Trust me. And that's why it's good to chop the chicken up this way because it'll it, it's going to cook faster and you know that the chicken is cooked all the way through. Come on, chicken. Come on. Girl. Girl, flip over. What are you doing, chicken? Gosh. Oh, my gosh. Mm. I'm ready to eat. Are you ready to eat? Because I am ready to eat. I'm so hungry. Look. Look at that nice, nice brown color on top. Look at that. It's all nice and seared. So I've got a lot of chicken to cook. I, I had to do at least like two to three batches of chicken. So I'm going to show you guys from the beginning. Round about the bin with the oil in the pan. I've got a spoonful of chicken for the teriyaki chicken. And I'm just going to fill the pan evenly. I don't want any chicken on top of chicken because then it's not going to cook evenly and I let it sit or cook as they say for three to four minutes so it can get nice that nice brown top crunch to it that bite to it and then I just flip the chicken just flip the chicken over girl like it's a chicken burger voila then I I took the chicken out there was a lot of chicken <laughs> and then um, I put the vegetables in there oh look at that juice look at the chicken oh my gosh I'm hungry mmm I'm about to eat that one piece of chicken yep fine so the chicken and the vegetables have reunited and it feels so good I'm giving it a nice stir and then I think I'm gonna then I'm gonna add the teriyaki sauce. It's based and glazed by Kiko Men. I like it. It's a good finisher. Just a nice little drizzle on top. And then you're gonna stir up the chicken. See, just a little drizzle, not too much. You don't wanna throw the whole bottle on it, honey. It's a base. It's a glaze. And uh, you stir. Ooh, this is a bonus part. Bonus! I'm gonna make some fried lights. Okay, look, you got your three eggs. And your canned carrots and peas. Yes. Mm -hmm. I cracked my eggs and popped them in there, but not before I, um, you know, moistened the pan with a little bit of olive oil. 
fried these bad boys up and I just chopped them up a little bit because you don't want like big big chunks of egg in your fried rice you want it to be evenly dispersed so you fry your egg until your egg can't be fried no more honey but don't don't do the brown egg I, nothing worse than a brown egg um, if you have some leftover rice that would be great but um, I added a bowl of rice into it I've added my peas and carrots fried rice is so easy to make you guys it's just fries, eggs, peas, carrots you can add onion but my mama don't like onions so uh, I ain't putting onion yet. And some, you can put brussels sprouts as well whatever you like um, and then I'm drizzling on some soy sauce yes, yes, drench your life drench your life I am the <laughs> then you sprinkle some garlic seasoning on there not garlic salt because you're going to have some high blood pressure with all that soy sauce and garlic salt that's just regular garlic seasoning and um, a little dash of basil a little dash of pepper and you're just going to stir it honey you stir it all up and voila you got your fried rice it is something delicious you guys oh I put it on um, a medium heat just to warm things up because if you're using leftover rice you're, you're warming the rice up and I had my rice sitting anyway so you stir and you stir and you stir and you stir because otherwise your, your rice is gonna burn oh wait I wasn't ready why does this look so delicious mm. there you have it folks chicken teriyaki with a side of fried rice made at home who needs panda express panda bye